I'm here to show you how to do some statistics in an access query database. In this example here, uh, I'm in the first half of 2010. I've specified that between 1-1-2010 and June 30th here. I'm going to run the query. So it's showing me the bills here. But let's say I want to know what the average amount of the bill is. What's all you have to do is click in the bottom row here, click on the totals, you get this thing here, you get the totals. I don't want the total. I could go and use anything here. I could say average, 1542. I could say the minimum bill was 300. Variance, it gives the de deviations there. Basic ones here are if I want to know the count, I have seven of them. Next thing I want to do is invoice statistics. What it is here, I added invoice amount three times. I run the query. I'm going to get all this with expression here because you're duplicating the fields. I'm going to go back into the design view. What I want to know, I want to know the total that I build as well as maybe the minimum, the average, whatever. I click on totals up here and then I just click inside here. It's showing sum. I could just choose the sum. It doesn't show up automatically. I shut it off before minimum here and let's say I want to know the maximum I click on that I run it now let's say it's just giving me a generic title let's say I just want to say total average high go back here you click over here before invoice amount and I type in total colon Spell it right, go over here, average, colon, I could type in high, run the query, it's showing the numbers there that we build of 1.7 million, the average, I want to add another one here, I just double click on invoice amount, goes over here, it goes into group by, I choose at this point the count. I wonder how many bills I sent out. And then I could just say number invoices. Run it. I've done 172 invoices.